Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So since today is the day that I'm launching a few new designs for my ethically made jewelry collection called Scandinavia Bound, I thought I wanted to put together a video where I share my favorites when it comes to jewelry and also how I like to style my jewelry for just a daily look or for special occasions. In general, most of you know that I love dainty, minimal, timeless jewelry that you can mix and match all together so that you have the opportunity to either wear something really dainty and minimal or you can layer up all sorts of different pieces and get sort of a more statement look going on. It's also super important to me that the jewelry that I have in my stash is in good quality just so that it lasts longer, so that it really lasts through all life's activities and also just so it stays beautiful. So as it already is with the collection, all of the gold is made in 14 karat solid gold and it's recycled. And then you'll also be able to find some silver pieces in the collection as well. So you can choose whatever material you like better, gold or silver. If you want to dig deeper into the whole thing, then we've updated the quality and production page of my web shop. So you'll be able to find lots more transparency when it comes to the production and the materials, all that sort of things. Without any further introduction, Introduction because I've been like a child at Christmas. I think that we should dive into my jewelry stash and then I'll also reveal the new designs that we've just launched today. I think I need a pillow sitting on the floor like this. It gets kind of hard on your legs. Maybe I should just all over the camera a bit too. Right, so I think that's better. I'm a bit more comfortable now. In general, like I said in the beginning of this video, I really love timeless, dainty jewelry, but I also like jewelry that is a bit more edgy and a bit more heavy. And I especially like combining those kinds of designs together. So I really love layering different lengths of necklaces, for example, combining different kinds of textures when it comes to the, to the chains. And the same goes for combining different types of earrings, bracelets, anything. I love combining different textures when it comes to jewelry. So when it comes to earrings, I absolutely love hoops. They are probably my favorite kind of earring. And also when it comes to hoops, I love combining different sizes and different textures again. So I usually like to wear like a big hoop in the outer piercing right here and then smaller ones towards the back. I have three piercings in each of my ears and then I have this one up here, which I cannot remember what it's called, but I guess I'm gonna Google it put it right here on the screen. And I do definitely love a bit of ear candy. I think that it looks so edgy and especially if you're wearing your hair away from your face, if you're wearing it up or just tucked behind one ear like I am today, even with a very basic look, even if you're not even wearing makeup, I feel like some ear candy can really make your look instantly more chic. So I'm wearing my new Dune hoops right here, which is part of the new release that has just launched today. And I am so in love with these earrings. I cannot get enough of them. I've been wearing them ever since I got them. So for the days where I'm more into the simple clean look, I like to go for my meadow or dune earrings that are from the old collection. But if I'm in the mood for something a bit more edgy, a bit more rock and roll, I will go for my new dune hoops, especially with the shooting star pendant right here. So the cool thing about these new earrings is that you can actually remove the pendant and you can switch between the different pendants that we already have in the collection. Like that and then you can wear the earring as it is if you feel like going for something very simple or you can switch to the meadow pendant if you want to go for something a bit more classic. 
yeah, there's lots of opportunities for you to be able to personalize and really play around with the jewelry. Again, the cool thing about all of the pendants that we have in the collection is that you can play around with them, you can put them in your necklaces, you can layer them on top of each other, really personalize. Speaking of the meadow pendant that I just showed you, we've actually made them available for engraving. So one side of the meadow pendant is textured and then the other side is plain as you can see here. So now you can get a letter engraved on the back of your meadow pendant so that you can personalize even further and so that there's something on both the front and the back of these pendants. When it comes to necklaces, it's sort of the same thing as with all of the other jewelry that I've mentioned in this video already. I like to combine different sorts of textures with the chains. So I like to choose one chain for the longer one and then another one for the shorter one, just again to play around with the textures and make the look a bit more interesting. To me, it's actually all about balance when it comes to playing around with all of these textures and lengths and um, the thickness of the jewelry. So something really dainty and minimal looks super awesome together with something a bit more chunky and a bit more, something that has a bit, bit more texture. So I like to combine different sorts of pendants together. Sometimes I'll even just wear a chain on its own. Sometimes I will layer the different pendants on top of each other. It kind of depends on what, what I'm in the mood for. So one of the questions I get asked the most on my platforms when it comes to jewelry is how I keep my necklaces from getting tangled when I wear two or more necklaces at a time. I've actually not had any secret tricks for this. I've just been kind of tang untangling them as the day went on and it's super annoying. Like the struggle is definitely real. So I went on to the greatest online library in the world and I actually found a video here on YouTube with a product called the Layer Slayer, which I think is something launched by another jewelry brand. But basically this product is a piece with little clasps that you can then attach onto your necklaces and that will then prevent them from getting all tangled up together. So I'm definitely gonna see if I can get my hands on a product like this. If you have any other tips, something that I could maybe make with something I already have in my home, definitely let me know as well. I'd like to get any hacks. Until then, I'm probably gonna look into the layer slayer and see if that will solve all of my tangling problems. So when it comes to rings, I have a few different rings in my collection that I wear every single day. This one is a starling ring from my own jewelry collection. Then I have my wedding ring here, which is silver. And this ring means a lot to me because Morten actually picked this out himself and I just love it. And it's engraved with his name and the date for our wedding inside of the ring. And then this one is a gold ring, which is an heirloom from my husband's grandmother. Just speaking of that whole edge that I really wanted to add to the new pieces in this collection, I feel like when you put a ring on your pinky, or even on your in index finger. I just feel like it looks a bit more edgy and a bit more cool. I would definitely love to get an extra small starling ring for my pinky. So if you want something a bit more edgy and something a little less classic and nice as wearing it on your ring finger, you could definitely size up or size down so you would be able to wear it either on your index finger or your pinky. So speaking of wearing rings on your pinky, I actually think that it looks so cool with like a signet ring on your pinky. Stillness actually have a selection of pinky rings in solid gold that is kind of within this style that I really love and they're actually available for engraving as well, which I think is so cool. So when it comes to watches, I have a few different kinds of watches in my own stash. I tend to always go for my gold mesh um, Daniel Wellington watch. So I do also have a couple of watches with leather straps in my stash. Um, but over the years, I've actually almost only been wearing this golden one because I feel like adding a bit more bling to my looks, whereas the watches with the leather straps are very classic. And I actually wear my watch almost every single day because I love the thought of not having to reach for my phone every time I want to check what time it is. And also I think that it adds up to the whole Whole look especially when you're combining different sorts of jewelry. I think I need to finish up this video soon because the afternoon sun is just blazing in the windows. <laughs> When it comes to bracelets, I actually really love them and I love the look of combining a lot of 
bracelets together. I think it looks super edgy, very, very cool, but I also feel like I'm very sensitive when it comes to bracelets. I don't know if it's because I sit like this when I'm working, so I can't stand the feeling of my bracelets like sliding against the table and yeah, I just feel like they get in the way sometimes. And my bracelets, including my watch, is actually often the first thing that I take off when I get home. I don't know what it is, but there's something about this area where I'm just very sensitive and I just need to get rid of it. At the same time, I feel naked when I leave the house if I'm not wearing it. So the struggle is real, as you can hear. Having said that, I really love bracelets and I have two different sorts of bracelets that I really love. So one bracelet that I've been wearing a lot recently is obviously my new shooting star bracelet from my own collection. I absolutely love this bracelet. And then the other bracelet that I wear almost every single day is this Daniel Wellington bangle and I like to come Bind it together with my Daniel Wellington watch because I feel like that finishes out the look quite nice. So there you have it guys, that was the new designs and yet another look into my jewelry stash and just general inspiration on how I like to style up jewelry, what kind of styles and designs I like to go for in general. So I will put direct links for everything mentioned down below, including the new designs that I've been showing you today in this video. And then, like I said in the beginning of this video, we recently updated the quality and production page of my web shop. So if you want to know more about the production and how everything is ethically made, then definitely make sure you check out that page as well. I will put a direct link for it down below for you. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for those of you who have been supporting my jewelry designs already. I love you guys and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>